We'd like to thank our sponsor. This year's sponsor is Star Trek. They're the, they're the company that has all of our cardio equipment. So we'd like to thank them for their donation. Okay, here's a little history about the battle. Our first battle, we had a mere 40 participants. Last year we had 78. Wow. And this year we have 91. Yeah. So you can see our event is constantly growing, and this is from the help of all you that are sitting out in the audience. So we're going to introduce last year's champion, this year's reigning champion, the Community Center Blue Team. I just going to take a few shots of it, just. Okay. John, do you want them to stand? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. To stand? No, that's okay. You're okay. okay. Yeah. You want them to stand? That's okay. It don't matter. <laughs> if they stand, you won't see the trophy. Here is the clubhouse one challenging team. Ten now, Mary. You don't have to worry about it. You got ten. Hey, go.
Anytime you're ready.
That's coming back. Come back, baby. There it is. One more time. You must have Jim's face over there. <laughs> or something. Whoa. Yeah. Nice. I got that on video. He got that on video, Jim. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, guys.
Nice. Ten even. Jesus. <laughs> side
case, just in case. This is the one you have to be careful. Yeah. This is the one you have to be After careful. you're all exhausted. It's going to start too fast. Yay, Jim! That's it. Go! Okay, Alex. Go, Alex. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Can I place it back on the chair?
in the female division, 75 to 84, we had Doris Walsh. 10 minutes and 34 seconds for six laps. Rolling. One more time rolling. And it actually went through the five-point gate. <laughs> so with that, we have a new record of 48 points for the Frisbee toss. And that goes to Jim Nightingale. In the 65 to 74, we have 50 points for Don DiMaggio. Come on, Cap. Come on up. And then we have uh, Mary Hernandez at 22 points. And in the 75 to 84, we have George Tilson racking up 55 points. Now to the sit to stand. The reigning champion and record breaker once again, Alex Tamaki. Yeah. Alex did 82 since the stand in one minute time. So he was averaging over one and a third sit to stands every second. That's pretty impressive. Can you do it again right now? Can we see that? And we have Virginia Clancy at 68 repetitions for the 55 to 64. In the 65 to 74 males, we had Jackson Yen. Jackson, where are you? Jackson did 77 repetitions. They're catching you, Alex. They're catching you. And we had Mei Ling in the females that did 71. In our 75 to 84 record breakers for the males, we had George Tilson. Are you here, George? No, George. 66 repetitions for George Tilson. And then we had Dan Burns burning up 70 sit to stands. And those are the record breakers for week two of the Battle of Fitness Center. Now, in our final week, we had the dreaded hill run. And we had only two records broken during that time. In the 55 to 64, we had Colleen Yost. Yeah. Colleen did the 40 yard dash uphill in seven, seven seconds, 7.68 seconds. Sorry about that. In the 65 to 74, we had Bob Gaps. 6.74 seconds. Now to the 2,000 meter row. The 2,000 meter row in the 55 to 64 males, we had Durham Monsma at 7 minutes and 49 seconds. And once again, we had uh, Virginia Clancy, 9 minutes and 31 seconds for 2,000 meters. In the males, 65 to 74, we had Tom O'Malley. Backing up his words that if we got him some rowers, he would do well in this event. Eight minutes and 37 seconds for 2,000 years. And he did it on his lunch break. <laughs> and then we also have, in the 65 to 74, Esther Fisher once again. Stand up, Esther. Nine minutes and 35 seconds for 2,000 meter row. In the 75 to 84, we have Bobby Seaton. Where's Bobby at? There's Bobby. Nine minutes, 13 seconds. And we have Doris Walsh in the female division at 10 minutes and 30 se 34 seconds. This year we had a new event called the Balance Event. Most of you tried it, most of you did fairly well in it, but some did better than others. We had Alex Tamaki at the age 55 to 64. He went through all the levels, and he had to stand on a, what Glenn called the sea urchin. It looks like a little round dome with spikes on it. 
He stood on there for a whopping two minutes and ten seconds. Wow. On one foot. In the female edition, uh, 65 to 74, we had Mei Ling making it through level six as well and standing on there 23 seconds. Our last breaker in the 75 to 84 female was Mary Nauman, level five. She did it for 5.92 seconds. So if I called your name, could you stand up real quick? Stand up, stand up. Additional awards. We have some courageous awards for people that were doing their best out there and might have got hurt or tweaked something. <laughs> so for this year's most courageous award, we have Colleen Walsh for taking a, almost a near header in the, in the uh, race. So uh, Doris, could you come up here and accept this award on behalf of Colleen? We have uh, another another uh, casualty, I want to say. Most courageous, uh, Esther Fisher. Yeah. And we have uh, a last courageous award. She, she, she did wonderful in all of her events. Uh, she's not here tonight. She's up in lovely Sacramento, vacationing with her son, uh, Kathy Higa. So this year we have two new, or we have a new award called the All Star Awards, and we have Stanley Lazares. Stanley, why don't you come on up here? And Jean Bordeaux. These two gentlemen here. Had some epic battles. <laughs> One tie at least, right? One tie where you had to go against each other. They had to go against each other in a tie of the chess press, I believe it was. They battled in every single event, and they were either first or second in each one. Oh. If they weren't first or second, <laughs> someone else snuck in. That deserves the all-star award for you two guys. Thank you very much. We have Mary Nauman coming up here now. Come on up here, Mary. Mary. Mary gets the All-Star Award because she was battling against six, six other competitors, all on the red team. So she was the only one. And if she didn't show up, red took it all. But she did take quite a few points from the red team. So Mary, you deserve this all-star award. Now we're going to go into our MVP awards. This year, we're going to do MVP awards for both teams because we feel that both, both teams deserve it. There's always one victor, but there's also always many people that have done well that can get this award. So the first one is for Team Red, Clubhouse One. We're gonna go with the female most valuable. We decided it was Doris Walsh. Yeah. Now Doris competed in just about every event. And we even forced her, well, we, we coaxed her. We didn't, we didn't coax, we, we coaxed her into doing the men's relay as well. And for the red males, Clubhouse won MVP. We decided that it it must go to Jim Nightingale. Yeah. Yeah. He looks surprised. Yes. 
Jim, you rallied the troops. You brought everyone together. You made everybody show up. And without that, I don't know if we, we could have had much of a match if we had a match because of that. Because yeah. you brought them in for all those. <laughs> all right, for the MVP for the community center, we have, for the males, we have Tom O'Malley. Yeah. Like we said before, Tom came on his lunch break to row. He did everything he can to make it in time to the events, because he still works. And uh, he scored a lot of points for the uh, community team. So, I'm just going to show that. Because, uh, for the females, we have Virginia Clancy, your better half. She scored the most points for the women, and she competed in just about all the events, too, as well. So, the two MVPs there. year back to back. Let's have all the community center participants in your blue shirts if you have them come up here for one last picture with the trophy. paper, so let's, uh, let's make sure we get the hype right. Tall people in the back, be careful. Short people seated. Medium people in the middle. Everyone else fill in the sides. Be careful, 